the fellowship program modules one, two, and three, I'm strongly prepared to lend my voice to the development sector, especially as it has to do with peace and interfaith peace, because from the first module I understood what um, the three faiths are teaching the uh, we, Islam, Christianity, and Judaism. We've got to understand uh, the values of those uh, of the religions and what they really stood for. It then means from all of that, I was able to understand that all religions are for peace. Then also learning about conflict management, uh, conflict resolution, what we call early warning and early response, and the strategies in mitigating all of this, and even knowing when you're supposed to step into the space to help prevent conflict or even seek a redress. I'm strongly equipped to lend my voice in that area especially as it has to do with uh, interfaith peace. Looking at the project I did is a proactive measure in seeing that we fill the gap present in public secondary schools, especially across Nigeria, looking that they don't have much in uh, initiatives that actively promote and foster um, interfaith understanding in their curriculum. Schools basically focus on academia. I mean, they're basically academic pursuits, and yes, that is it. But then there's a need to bring in this kind of crucial topics. There was an interfaith peace club that would be guided by the patrons using the operational manual that was developed for the running of the club uh, affairs smooth, smoothly. This is basically to rectify the gap in the educational uh, program, exposing them to the conflict management, conflict resolution, and interfaith peace, most especially. Mm -hmm.